things comes to mind when we think about students in the lens of the pandemic. Challenges, learning habits, and even coping strategies. These three works together to make our research relevant to the global community, to our time. And by recognizing this study, we will be informed about the different experience of our university students that is studying during the pandemic, about their challenges that they had to face, learning habits they performed, and even coping strategies that they had to do in order for them to cope up with this kind of situation. This will be used as a basis to better understand the needs of the students in this time of the pandemic. A holistic approach to education that addresses students' learning, social, and emotional needs is crucial, especially in times of crisis. The world saw how much all sectors of our society suffered. The agony of the people was felt because of the instant changes in lifestyle brought by the virus. Different safety measures as a communal practices was being implemented according to Rob Jovan and Visaya 2020. The current coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic is having a profound impact not only on people's health but also on how they learn, work, and live. Among the most important challenges created by the COVID-19 is how to adopt a system of education built around physical schools. For it is reported that in the first week of April 2020, 195 countries had adopted national school closure affecting about 91.3% of the students' population according to UNESCO. Since no one knows when the pandemic will stop, educational institutions have chosen to use already reachable technical resources to create online materials for students in all educational areas that seeks to implement online teaching and learning to contain the spread of the virus. This made almost all of the students respond in adopting the forced transition in educational settings from face-to-face -to, -face to online learning. This had made the major adjustment for both teachers and students, especially on the most vulnerable ones who are more likely to face additional barriers. With this, we've come up with four questions that we think that is essential to our research. Question number one, what are the challenges that students encountered on learning in the new normal? For question number two, what are the learning habits of students on learning in the new normal? For question number three, what are the coping strategies of students on learning in the new normal? And for the last question, what is the difference on the challenges encountered, learning habits, and coping strategies of students on learning in the new normal when group in terms of profile variables. So there you have it, the statement of the problem of our study. And basing from the questions, we come up with a figure which exhibits the conceptual framework of our study. It consists of three variables and the subtopics under the challenges and the coping strategies of the students. The first one is challenges, which is the difficulties or the problems of the student encountered in their online learning. And these challenges revolve around the technological, which is continues to be the most visible challenge in online learning. It is also very reliant on technical device and internet connection. The second one is the social emotional issues of the students. When we contrast the online learning and the typical classroom settings of the students in before the new normal, online learning is lacking of the community and the peer engagement growth of the students. Right now, students are facing more kinds of unknowns and different situations in their learning. 
That's why a student has also been introduced to the new study habits and different ways of their learning. More than that, the learning engagement of the student is also one of the study habits that has been altered by the new normal. These different study habits as well as the challenges of the students necessitates their cognition in coping and reacting of these situations. Another variable is the coping strategies, which is the student ways on how they will deal or react on these adversities. Such coping mechanisms are introduced by Folkman 2007, which is first the problem focus, which aims to solve the problem causing distress. The second one is the emotion focus, which aims to reduce the negative feelings that link to that problem. The third one is the social coping or the support seeking, which an individual seek emotional and instrumental help from others. The last one is the meaning focus, which a person uses a cognitive technique to control the situation, but it does not address the problem immediately and it requires a longer commitment to solve that issue. These three variables, the challenges, the study habits, the coping strategies of the students relate to the new normal that we must discover on this study. So these are the research methodology that we have used in conducting this study. We employ a non-experimental quantitative design, in particular to cross-sectional comparative. We decided to use a cross-sectional correlation non-experimental to determine the factors that affect the students' challenges, the study habits, and the coping strategies of the students in the new normal. This research design gives us an idea on what is going on with the target respondents. The participant of this study was a diverse group of individuals from the first year, second year, third year, and fourth year BA student of IS Shukawayan. A total of 200 BA students were selected to be the respondents of our study with the use of stratified random sampling by first separating them into mutually exclusive homogeneous segment basing from their profile variables such as their year level. And then each segment was given a simple random sample until we reached the 50 students of each segment. The instrument used was adapted in the study of Barots, Linares, and Del Rosario 2021 and from Camarianos, Adomopoulos, Lambropoulos, and Stamelos 2020 study. The first component of our instrument was composed of four questions that assess the demographic profile of our respondents such as their names, year level, sex, and their age. While these challenges, the study habits, and the coping strategies of the students were assessed on the remaining sections. We used a five Likert scale ranging from one as a never to five as always to assess the study habits of the students. While on the coping strategies and the challenges, we use a one as a strongly disagree to five as the strong agree. Because of the restriction of the pandemic, we distribute our questionnaires by using a Google Forms and sharing the link to our respondents. To begin the process of data analysis, we first reduce the data into format form that can be easily analyzed. And then we employ the frequency count to determine the number of respondents and their profile. We also use the weighted mean to calculate the result of frequency of types of data gathered concerning the students' challenges they encountered, the study habits they begin to do, and the coping strategies towards learning in the new normal. And to deal with the distinction, we use the t-test to determine if the students' challenges, study habits, and coping strategies have a significant difference when we group them into their profile variable. Here are the significant findings that we have discovered. Major findings found that the students experience a limited time before their online classes start. Considering that they are learning from home, this might be due to the fact that they need to finish their household chores. This is why student self-regulation in their studies is still low. 
students also encountered discomfort when they were the center of the attention in their online class because being isolated can make changes in the student's mood, especially the habitual setting of the classroom abruptly changes. While on their learning environment, due to the distraction from home, like noise, they can concentrate much on comprehending their lesson during their online class. Technology also gave difficulty to the students because they are distracted with overlay use in an online class such as applications and programs that they had never utilized before like Zoom, Google Meet, and Edmodo. Insufficiency in technology also made its presence in the difficulties of the student, submitting their assignments on time. Some of them have a stable internet connection, but others have not, especially some areas, are having poor signals causing unexpected loss of internet connection. Watching longer videos for them to understand their lesson also gave a problem, wherein, watching long videos, the more they can focus in comprehending the meaning of it. Using a smartphone was also the most applied device used by all the students. They also said that through social media, they were got informed when they have an online class or anything else about in their studies. Now, modules are still the best choice of the students as their source in their every lesson and which they must rely on. Similar to the study habits of the students, they much more did the assigned tasks and assignments from them when possible, even before the new normal and up until now. This means that they were goal-oriented and know how to self-manage even when they encountered academic loads. As to how they cope with their challenges in the new normal, most of them use the problem-focused coping strategy, whereon students set their goals to be reminded what is needed to accomplish in their academic tasks in online learning and various social-emotional challenges. Moreover, they try to be self-motivated to be fit in online class and be able to manage themselves in different technological difficulties. With that, they will not find themselves stressed by these challenges. In this study, we also examine difference between such challenges, habits, and coping strategies when the respondents are divided based on demographic variables. When the respondents are grouped according to sex, we found out that social-emotional challenges, particularly self-regulation challenges, that involve understanding and managing our behaviors toward a particular situation. It is clearly shown here that males are more likely to confront social-emotional challenges, particularly self-regulation challenges compared to females are rejecting the alternative hypothesis. Females are more technologically literate and competent compared to male. This means that males face more technological difficulties than females, which also rejected the hypothesis. For technological difficulties, as it is being stated in the table, there is a difference between males and females when it comes to technological literacy and competency challenges, which corresponds to the difficulties of students on how to use, manage, and understand the technology and based on the given figures. In this study, we also examine the difference in students' study habits when they are grouped according to sex. We found out that sex has nothing to do with the study habits that students had saw us with their coping strategies and denying the hypothesis. Moreover, we also examine differences when the respondents are grouped according to age. We also rejected our alternative hypothesis. It is evident that with the students' isolation challenges, maturity is a factor that influences such challenges. Based on the findings, students age 20 and below are more likely to be anxious and disconnect in the online environment that makes them feel left behind compared to students 21 and above. Based on our study, 
Students from 21 and above are more technologically literate and competent compared to students age 20 and below. For technological sufficiency challenges again, students from age 20 and below are less controlled in the use of digital technologies. They experience a high number of insufficiencies when using technological tools for online schooling compared to age 21 and above. While for technological complexity challenges, respondents who happen to be age 21 and above easily adopt the complexity of these tools compared to the respondents age 20 and below. Moreover, we also examine the difference between the study habits of students when grouped according to age. We found out that age is a factor that influences different study habits of the student during the new normal. And it is shown here that respondents age 21 and above are more likely to do extra work with their study habits during the new normal, compared to stud to students age 20 and below and accept, accepting the hypothesis. And for coping strategies of students, unfortunately, based on the findings, age has nothing to do with the coping strategies of students either for social-emotional challenges or technological difficulties which rejected our alternative hypothesis. Now, I will discuss to you the conclusion. Analysis of the results simply means that although engaging students in this pandemic period can be beneficial in keeping them active and focused, there are still a lot of challenges they face online. Result from the social-emotional challenges shows that vast of students have limited preparation before online class due to the fact that students' readiness is still lacking. Moreover, students are uncomfortable when they are the center of attention during their online class discussion and students experience distraction at home due to various situations. Apart from this, students also are experiencing technological difficulties due to the lack of technical skills which they were overwhelmed with the complexity of technology. Students also use modules given by their professors to read which made for them easy to follow their lessons. Study habits of the students before and during the new normal will remain constant which they are being goal-oriented. Students mostly use problem-based coping when facing technological difficulties as well as social-emotional challenges. Students strive to be self-motivated when confronted with various technological difficulties in order to easily adapt and succeed in online learning. While in social challenges, students are setting their goal as their coping strategy for them to accomplish such activities and tasks in their online learning as well as to ease their workload. Results also reveal that there is a significant difference between the sex of the students in social-emotional challenges. Female students reported to have higher self-regulation skill than males. It was also promising that females are more literate and competent in technological than their male counterparts. However, it is found to have a difference in their study habits. Both of them did not differ considerably indicating that they might have almost the same study habits. The same manner with their coping strategies discovered that there is no sex difference when coping challenges in the new normal. On the other hand, it was found to have a significant difference with their age in social-emotional challenges wherein students from age 20 and below are more likely to be anxious and disconnected compared to 21 and above in students' age. But it was indicated that self-regulation and learning environment of the student was found to have a significant difference. Besides, it was revealed to have a difference in technological difficulties. Age 20 and below are much having troubles in technical issues and running such programs intended for their online class than those age 21 and above. 
However, there is a significant difference in their study habits presented that ages 21 and above are more likely to do extra work with their study habits during the new normal. But with their coping strategies, age is not a factor, particularly in overcoming social, emotional, and technological difficulties in the new normal. So here are the recommendations of the study. Number one, the learners were having difficulties in preparing themselves before online class and having limited time for them to be ready when their online class is about to start. With that, they must practice to become flexible, specifically the ability to set your own schedule, which also one of the most enticing part of attending online class. However, it must be with a good time management skill so that you do not end up rushing. Number two, it is also a positive thing that some students are interested in attending online lessons and are eager to do so. Their professor must maintain a teaching style that encourages students to participate in all discussions. Students will be more motivated to learn as a result of this. Professor, on the other hand, must commend the student's effort in contributing to the discussion or when giving a re recitation, regardless of whether it is correct or not, to improve their confidence. Number three, distraction is inherent when learning online from home. When students don't feel motivated to study or complete homework, sometimes they create their own distractions, regardless of how they feel Students must continue to learn new topics and complete assignments. Then after, students can also reward themselves for completing such tasks in their study in order to block out the noise at home. Students can put on headphones and listen to music, which may also bring oneself into focus. Avoid having messy study environment because a tidy setting might help you be more motivated. Number four. Concerning the challenges of an overly complex technology use in online, students can seek assistance from friends, classmates, family, or directly from the instructors who have sufficient competence and adaptability in running such programs. As a result, learner may simply adapt to new normal and learn freely through online learning without self-doubt. 5. Students also struggled with technological sufficiency as this may result in the submission of tasks, particularly in attending their online classes. With that, teachers must take into consideration those students who are having serious issues with their internet connectivity. Six, longer videos may have it more difficult for students to absorb more knowledge that was intended to be conveyed especially given the fact that many students have slow internet connections. In that instance, teachers must be aware of the student's circumstances and if possible, create short videos of their lessons or lectures. Number seven, giving students a reading module provided by instructors aided them in collecting information and made it easier for them to follow along with their courses. Furthermore, the instructor's assistance must be maintained by providing each student a module, ensuring that no one is left behind during this pandemic. 8. It is desirable habit for students to be goal-oriented, completing prescribed tasks and assignments as quickly as possible. Preferably, they must continue to do, do so in order to improve their abilities to self-manage their academic load by setting goals in advance. Number 9. Goal setting is a coping strategy that is very important amidst of this pandemic. Students must need to have a clear mindset on what tasks needed to accomplish one at a time so that you may not overload yourself in completing all your assignments in a single day. Take time for self-care as well so you don't burn out from too much studying. Lastly, students must also continue to be self-motivate for them to have a good start to begin with the online class. Attending classes, completing assignments, and answering questions will all be well organized. Students who are equipped with this are more likely to succeed in their daily tasks and develop their self-discipline to its full potential.